Lekin, Namde Kano Igbo Live Advocate of True Federalism, Self Determination Alone, Face Banditry Terrorism, Afeni Fairy Tales Buari. Welcome to today's news. The Pan Yoruba Social Political Group Afeni Fairy has asked President Muhammad Buari to stop dissipating energy on hunting advocates for true federalism or self determination. Ajayi Wu was reacting to the president's declaration that the government has discovered sponsors of Sunday Ibo and the Namdokanu said that Afeni Ferry felt that the government should concentrate on putting a stop to banditry and terrorism rather than dissipating energy on onto those who are advocating for the true federalism or self-determination. The phenomenon of Sunday Ibo and Namdekano in terms of desiring their whole nations came about as a result of the failure of the Nigerian state to cater adequately for Nigerians. If the insecurity and social dislocation in the country are brought to an end, the agitation for separate nations will fizzle out. Commenting on the 61-year anniversary speech of the president, the group spokesperson said that government should face reality and tackle the challenges facing the country. Ajayi noted that the, pres- that the picture painted by President Buhari of the Nigerian situation was at variance with what is on the ground. The president claimed that a lot has been achieved in the last six years in infrastructure, social care, governance, Nigerians' image and influence in Africa and the international community. It is against the reality on the ground. There has, been, there has never been a time in the annals of modern Nigerian that the country infrastructure was this de- decadent, social care near absent, and the image of Nigeria was so battered. Indeed, the difference between now and, the, and in the days of the late Sonny Abacha was that the head of state was then was wearing khaki, while the present head of government wears a civilian dress. And there, and there are democratic institutions like the legislature that were absent then in terms of the country influence in Africa. How many countries in Africa now respect Nigeria going by the inhuman treatment Nigerians are subjected to, to in different parts of the world, including Africa these days? Afeni Ferry spokesman also called on the president to be more sincere and live up to his word that this administration will listen to these people. Quoting President Buhari, where he said that we shall continue to serve the country, listen to all and protect our democracy and country. Ajayi said that there are many instances in which the Buhari-led government has shown that the people did not matter. Some instances that can be immediately cited were various court judgments that the government spawned once these judgments are not in the favor, various agreements it reached with trade unions and it failed to honor and government policies that the people kicked against, but the government went ahead or, or tried to go ahead to impose them. According to Ajayi, the greatest area in, in which the government has failed in recent times is in the area of security. Whatever infrastructure government put in place, it is only those who are alive and in good condition that can enjoy these things. But how can those who have been killed, kidnapped, or maimed by terrorists enjoy those infrastructures? The president is true to say that his government is putting in place. Afeni Ferry asked President Buhari to do away with impunity and nepotism, be more sincere in its tackling of security challenge in the country, and above all, allow restructuring to take place so that people of Nigeria can sit down and decide on the modality for their continued staying together in a united Nigeria that is truly federal. The Pan-Social, the Pan-Yoruba Social Political Group, Afeni Ferry, has asked President Muhammadu Buhari to stop dissipating energy on hunting advocate for true federalism or self-determination. Ajayu was reacting to the president declaration that the government was discovered as discovered sponsors of Sunday Ibo and the Namdukano said that Afeni Ferry felt that the government should concentrate on putting a stop to banditry and terrorism rather than dissipating energy on haunting those who are advocating for true federalism or self-determination. The phenomenon of Sunday Ibo 
and the Namdekano in terms of desiring their own nations came about as a result of the failure of the Nigerian state to get adequately for Nigerians. If the insecurity and social dislocation in the country are brought to an end, the agitation for separate nations will fizzle out. Commenting on the 61-year anniversary speech of the president, the group spokesperson said that the government should face reality and tackle the challenges facing the country. Ajayi noted that the picture painted by the President Buhari of the Nigerian situation was at variance with, with what is on the ground. The President claimed that a lot has been achieved in the last six years in infrastructure, social care, governance, Nigerians' image and influence in Africa and the international community is, is against the reality on the ground. There has never been a time in the annals of modern Nigerians that the country infrastructure was the was this decadent social care near absent and the image of the country was so battered. Indeed, the difference between now and in the days of the late Sonia Bacha was that the head of state then was wearing khaki while the present head of government wears wears a civilian dress and there are more democratic institutions like the legislature that were absent then. In terms of the country's influence in Nigeria, how many countries in Africa now respect Nigerians going by the human treatment Nigerians are subjected to in different parts of the world, including the including Africa these days. I have a few comments here that says Buhari is the most useless president in the world today. Take it or leave it. Someone here says, Mr. Buhari is killing an ant with a sledgehammer and fighting the elephant with ordinary cane. Another comment here says, God bless you, wise old man that always speaks for voiceless masses like me, who has no access to reply this old vampire called a president of a nation, always who is always chasing right. All is chasing rat why his house is on fire. Another comment which I have here says, Thanks, thanks. You have never disappointed anyone that follows you, your releases. For our tomorrow, you are giving your today and saying truth to power. Here is another comment that says, Those Afeni Ferry members need the medical attention because they are sick upstairs. Definitely. The person that says this is an Awusa man. And I have another comment here that says banditry, terrorism, kidnapping, hitmen, secessionists are all problems facing Nigeria today. And God willing, the government should tackle them simultaneously. I hope the government would listen to this. I have another comment here that says, Buari, if I were you, I will serve myself this embarrassment and who's but due to Buhari is, is ill human having the face of human being but consciously consciousness consciouslessly in human go down go down wicked in and evil leader wherever at to Fakwa. and this will be the end of our today's news thanks for listening and have a nice day ahead